something is similar because you mentioned uh, and I, I, you mentioned this a few times which I really liked in your intro which is that you do you use a holistic approach to estate planning is this what you're are referring to or like what does that mean exactly exactly so um I take a holistic approach which which means I I, I try to you know, it's all about legacy, right? And I try to encompass all of those things. And I also, you know, I don't, I, I like the terms like using transactional versus relational. You know, a lot of typical, uh, you know, estate planning attorneys might take more of a transactional approach where you come in, you pay for the documents, you get the documents and that's it. Um, I really want to have more of a relational approach with my clients. And so by doing that, you know, I really want to connect with them on a personal level. Um, which brings me back to why I became a lawyer in the first place, right? Was to have that personal connection and really help people. Um, so in doing that, a lot of times people will create plans, but years down the road, those plans are obsolete. Um, laws can change. People may acquire assets that they forget to put into the trust. Um, the children grow. The people that you identify to serve as your as the various agents or guardians might not be the right choices anymore. A lot of times, parents with little, very little children will initially name their parents, but as the children grow and the grandparents age, you know those choices might not be the right ones. And so, in order to make sure that the plans really do work, if and when they need them, I do a free review every three years to make sure that the plans are up to date. Um, and that everything is in the trust as it should be. Um, I do a full asset inventory so that my clients, if anything were to happen to them, their successor trustees would know exactly what they have and where it is. There's something like $10 billion of unclaimed funds in the state of California alone. Never, I what? never want that to happen to my clients. Wow, that sounds terrible. <laughs> and so, um, and then when I do the free review every three years, I do another interview. So my hope is that many, many years down the road, my clients can watch these videos with their grandchildren, um, you know, and, and really, so it's really this more full, complete, holistic approach. I sometimes call it conscious legal planning because it really is, you're consciously thinking about what you want to pass down. You're not just sort of signing some documents and, and doing that. So that's my approach. And um, it's, it's the right approach for some and for others, you know, it's not the right fit. And, um, but that's why I love what I do is, is making it personal. So 